Hello everyone, my name is Paul and Samayoi. We're back. Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting Episode 127, Lapras. You didn't watch the last episode. Why didn't you? Want a quick recap of soft resets? Got 2,565 total soft resets. It's pretty good. Anyway, this episode's topic is by me. Um, you could have not, could have played the game, or if you even care about it, to answer this, but... Have you read every single card in the game, Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy Color? Now, what I mean by this is either you can just, uh, you can look it up, or, or, um, you could have just played through the game and then see what the card, each card did every time you get, like, a new one. But, uh, yeah, for me, I believe I did. I believe I looked through every single one, and that's how I came up with the the best cards, in my opinion, for my for my uh, deck. So, uh, yeah, I think I definitely have. So, I'm curious if you if you all have ever read every single card in the in Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy Color. If you even care about the game, I mean. But, uh, yeah, so, anyway, I'm just curious about that. But, um... Alright, back from, back to Pokemon Ultra Moon, uh, playthrough, uh, Verlis by Verlisavai. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I really like it. I really like the, I know these are, like, a lot of old features, like I said, in Pokemon Sun and Moon. But, um, you can do the little, look through the hole and take pictures of Pokemon. Like, I really like that. I don't like the fact that, um, just in game, and most of the games, I think except for the third generation where, uh, you can get your picture taken of, like, with your Pokemon, it's just, like, didn't really interest me that much, but when I like, to, when it's, like, Pokemon Snap or, or, uh, Pokemon Go, you can, like, uh, point at the Pokemon and take pictures of them. If you don't know what Pokemon Snap is, it's, like, a... A game from, I believe, the Nintendo 64, where it's all about taking pictures of Pokemon instead of actually capturing them. And, uh, you can do certain things to have certain Pokemon pose or, uh, or come out. And, uh, it's pretty awesome. But anyway, um, and then Pokemon Go, I'm sure you've definitely heard of it. It's the, uh, simulation phone for your phone that you can just go find and catch, capture Pokemon. And it's pretty cool. But anyway, uh... Yeah, so that's really awesome that you can also do that, and uh, it's funny because Verlisify, each time he finds a uh, totem sticker, he's like, oh no, I don't like, he's like telling himself he hates himself for getting those. And I was like, I don't know why, it's like, they're pretty cool in my opinion, you can just like collect them and all that, it's really awesome. But, um, I also forgot to say that uh, in Pokemon X and Y, you actually, when you catch a Pokemon for the first time and it's a shiny, like for me, when I, uh, that's the first time I ever caught a Togepi, and it was shiny, and, uh, it doesn't register if you captured it as a shiny in the Pokedex, so, it really sucks. Or at least I don't think it does, uh, I'll have to double check, because like I said, it's pretty hard to tell, uh, if the Shog the Shogapi, not the Shogapi, the Togepi is, uh, shiny or not, but you can actually tell. If it was or not, like, uh, shiny Pokédex registered. You can see by the, uh, the front of it, the front of it, if the, if the bottom, the bottom right is blue or red. If it's blue, I believe that's normal. If it's red, it's, uh, yeah, I believe it's the, the bottom two, uh, like, uh, like it's, uh, diagonal. That means going going like from a corner all the way down to the right corner and uh, or if it's the the uh... oh wait no what am I talking about? I mean the left corner all the way down to the right the bottom right corner I mean if it's top left corner and then all the way back to top right corner so yeah that's what diagonal is and I can, it doesn't have to just go to the, down to the right but uh... yeah so anyway so um... I'll just have to check that because I it looked like it wasn't but Maybe you did, because that'd be cool, because <laughs> it was just cool to see see you, like, that, that the first Pokemon you got of that was, um, it was shiny, so that, was, that would be pretty cool. But, um, 
yeah so this of course there's some if this if this is even a feature in the Pokemon X and Y um if it is then I won't be able to get it for the ones I already caught like Diggers B Mile you know all of those I caught and yeah so that'll be too bad but whatever <laughs> and uh yeah but anyway going back to Pokemon Ultra Moon so uh pretty excited because um, let's see. I actually I'm trying to think of the other things he did. I'm all the way up to him just talking to Colgress. Or not Colgress, Colress, and then and then yeah. After he saw Colgress talking to the two Ultra Recon alien thing alien beings. Uh, and Colress, if you don't know who he is, he's a scientist with blonde hair. He has like a blue thing that uh, goes around his head that is attached to his glasses. I don't know what the point of that is. Maybe that's just stylish. I don't know. But anyway, he was originally seen introduced in Pokemon White and Black 2. He was the uh, one of the main villains, but he just actually betrayed Getsis, which is the main evil organization guy team leader of Pla team plasma and uh yeah so so uh that's who Colrus is and uh yeah it's so cool just to see characters from another game like yeah i know there was the games like uh pokemon gold silver crystal and pokemon heart gold and Soul silver where you saw the uh first gym leaders and then of course red at the final boss at the top of mount silver and then you saw um, then you see like little references like that, but there's like so many references in uh, so far in Ultra Sun. Well, no, Ultra Moon. That's what the one I'm watching for this live part. But uh, yeah, like, and I bet I think this was in uh, po regular Sunday Moon. But if you remember in X and Y, the uh, the two two I guess they're Ace Trainers called uh, I think Lily and. No, who was it? I think it was it was Dexter and it was someone else. It was it was like a it was like a really tan girl. I forgot what her name is. But it was a Dexter and then they it was Dexter that was a boy. Uh and then with him was like the tan girl. I don't remember his name, but the Dexter. He had blonde hair and and he was white and then um but anyway, yeah, they they uh would go and be masked like uh, have a mask on them and and they would be like I guess superheroes or something like that and pretend like you didn't know who they were but it's funny because uh, you would most likely know exactly who they are but yeah they just came back in in uh, Sun and Moon and Ultra Moon so it's pretty cool just to see a little reference and um what else um yeah so it's really it's really interesting because the uh one of the, the times that you you battle the alien beings in Ultra Moon are it's like the first time you see them when they throw out the Pokemon, they're actually caught in a beast ball and these are for catching the Ultra Beast and I guess they can catch normal Pokemon too. But um it was really weird just to see that, a Pokemon a regular Pokemon being caught by a a beast ball and it's pretty strange that ultra beasts can be shiny as well because i thought that was just for pokemon only pokemon could be be like uh like you know what i mean by shiny like yeah i know a lot of things in in uh that exist can shine but you know what i mean like be a different color than normal and then then shine sparkling and then throw it out but anyway uh yeah so it's really strange that Ultra Beasts also have shiny forms. I know that uh, I've known about this for like a while, but I just wanted to bring it up because the uh, Ultra Beast thing. But yeah, speaking of Ultra Beasts, apparently um, they have one, and it's like a, it's like a small one, but it's like uh, what is it called? It's, I think it's called Poplio, or or something like that. No, but that's that's like the same name, kind of like the starter. No, Poplio is. Uh, I don't know. It's like it's something with a P. It's like a it's like a small little purple ultra beast. 
I didn't even know it was an Ultra Beast until Verus Fire was like freaking out. I'd be like, whoa, an Ultra Beast already. I'm like, what? That's an Ultra Beast. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I know some of them are like huge, like that one mosquito looking one and then that one uh, huge mouth, huge mouth uh, monster looking thing. And yeah, I know they all look like, they don't look like Pokemon because that was Nintendo Game Freak's. Game Freak or Nintendo's intention to have them not look like Pokemon to have them look like a creepy, give off a creepy feeling, but, uh, yeah, so there's so much, there's so much that I'm sure I'm missing that I've watched, um, and, uh, yeah, it seems like everyone watching him on the stream was having a good time as well, which is pretty awesome to hear, but, um, what else did he do, uh, I actually don't... I don't know. What else did he do? Uh, of course he beat the... He beat the... Uh, the last... The last trial he beat was... The one... What was her name? He was like the... The white... The white girl with... With green hair and she was like the grass... Uh, grass trial. What was her name? I don't remember, but anyway, it was like, <laughs> apparently this is a new feature also, um, the, the fire, the fire trial guy, and then the, uh, I think Lana is the, or Luna or whatever, is the, uh, water trial, I don't know if that's a guy or a girl, I don't, I don't freaking know, but anyway, um, yeah, they both just didn't want to eat her cooking, and, uh, they were just saying her cooking was bad, and it was like, <laughs> it was really weird, and apparently in the first one, in Sun and Moon, um, there was like this part where you would do her trial, and then you would have to mix up ingredients, and then she made it sound like really sexual or something, and it was like really weird, because <laughs> Rilla Svite pointed that out in a video, and I was like, oh yeah, he was saying like top, top ten times Pokemon got sexual or something like that. <laughs> It was pretty funny. There's like a lot of funny ones. And then, uh. Yeah. Oh crap, I never. I forgot to say. I forgot to say spoiler alert. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm sorry, everyone, that, uh, didn't want to be spoiled by that. I'm sorry. Completely forgot. Man, I hate myself for that. Because now, whoever didn't want to be spoiled is spoiled. If you. Yeah, let's just hope that you weren't spoiled. But, um. Yeah, so... Oh, what else? Um... What else to talk about in... That he did? I actually... I don't know. I don't... Oh yeah, the cool little, um... The cool Pokemon that you can spawn. I know this is in Sun and Moon as well. Uh, originated in there, but, uh, something called a pager, and each time you would, for most of the trials, you would get a pager at the end, or at the beginning of it, like, there's one for Tauros, that you just can ride on, and just, uh, dash across through land, and there's one for Stoutland, you can sniff out, I think it's like an item finder, pretty much, you can sniff out things on the ground, and then there is one for Lapras, <laughs> it's funny enough, you can uh, surf across the water with that, and then there's one for Charizard. You can just fly around, so it's pretty cool that you don't need HMs. So I think that was what I was hoping for, like for a long time. But anyway, this will be the last one we check for the episode. So yeah. But anyway, talk about this more episode, more episode, more next episode if I remember more. I mean, yeah, pretty excited about that. But we will see. All right. Anyway, we ended off with five, not not five thousand two hundred. No, oh my gosh, two thousand five hundred eighty-nine total soccer bits. My gosh, why is that so hard to say? Anyway, bye, lappers. I've been your host, Ponce de Mayoi, and goodbye. <laughs>